Hello everybody, this is Alex Merced from Greco Financial Training, and this is another one of our Series 7 help videos. In this video, what I want to discuss is a product called American Depository Receipts, or ADRs. Now to appreciate why you would want to buy an American Depository Receipt, you need to understand the risks of foreign investing. Now if I want to invest in a foreign corporation stock, which trades in foreign exchanges, I run not only regulatory risk since I'm dealing with a whole new regulatory body in the foreign regulator, but I'm also dealing with exchange risk. And to illustrate that, let's think about what I'd have to do to buy that stock. Now if I were to buy stock that trades in a Japanese exchange, first thing I'd have to do is buy yen. And now yen, like all floating currencies, fluctuates in the market like everything else. So in that case, I may end up buying yen for too, uh, uh, overpriced. I may end up buying yen underpriced, which would be awesome, but I'm not necessarily going to rely on my market timing. So let's assume um, that I have to do that trade. So I have to buy yen, and that could go wrong. Now after I bought the yen, then I actually have to buy the stock. And again, I can mistime that trade as well, so I might end up overpaying for the stock. Now later on, I have to sell the stock. Now sell the stock, I may sell the stock for a bad price. And then after that, I have to take that yen and then turn it back into dollars. And I might do that at the bad price. So that's four trades that I could mess up. That's a lot of risk than your typical um, security, common stock or preferred stock, where I only have to do two trades. I buy it, then I sell it, and I have dollars. So what they've done is that a foreign issuer of stock, what they'd be able to do they may be able to work or not work with, maybe an investment bank decides to initiate this process on their own, but the idea is that a foreign branch of a investment bank, so name your favorite investment bank, would buy the stock of the foreign company in that location. And then what happens is that their US locations would then be able to register what's called a receipt. So think of a what a receipt is when you buy anything. You get a receipt that represents ownership of that thing you just bought. So if I go buy a donut and I get a receipt, that receipt represents that I own that donut and no one can question that I own that donut because I have that receipt. So same thing here. So even though we're not going to sell you the stock, we're going to give you a receipt that represents ownership of that stock in a form of foreign country. And that receipt is registered with the Securities Exchange Commission, the same way you would register any stock uh, under the Act of 33 with a 20-day review the whole ordeal. And now that receipt would be able to trade here in US markets in dollars, which means you don't have to worry about all the exchange risk, okay, and you still have the same access to that foreign stock and those foreign investment opportunities, again, without the exchange risk. Now, some of the catches, you don't really technically own the direct stock. You own a receipt that represents ownership in the stock that's on deposit somewhere else. So you don't really get to vote the shares and you are subject to foreign taxes because it is treated as if you own the stock. Though on the bright side in the US, for any foreign taxes you pay, you do get a US tax credit. And the foreign stock is not registered with the SEC, just the ADR is, the receipt. And a good way to think about this is anything with the word receipt is generally issued by an investment bank. So later on when they ask you about like treasury receipts, treasury receipts are not issued by the federal government, they're issued by investment banks. Anything with the word receipt. But American Depository Receipts, again, allows me to buy foreign companies, avoid exchange risk, be registered with the SEC, so I get to be under the nice safety of U.S. regulations that we're already comfortable with. The only other catch is when the corporation pays a dividend, like let's say it's a Japanese company again, they'll declare their dividend in yen. But when it gets paid out to you, what's going to happen is the investment bank will then take that dividend and buy dollars with it and pay it to you in dollars. So in that case, you don't have to worry about exchange risk with your dividends either, okay? Because the investment bank will probably be able to better time those trades uh, than we individually. So hopefully that makes American Depository Receipts or ADRs a little bit more tangible. My name is Alex Merced from Greco Financial Training, here to with more Series 7 help. Now again, if you want to join any of our classes, for Series 7, Series 24, Series 63, Series 66, you name it, we got it. Hop on to Greco.com, check our schedules, and sign up for our classes. We also have on-demand solutions for exams such as Series 7, 63, and 99. So if you can't make it to one of our classes, we can set you up with our on-demand videos. And my name is Alex Merced from Greco Financial Training. Have a great day and enjoy.